you look at the way in which we'd plan this show, mm -hmm. and before the start of this match, you think, right, we're going to spend quite a lot of time talking about it because it's a big game. Yeah. But we <laughs> learned nothing, really, from this game that we didn't know already. Spurs yeah. are better than Arsenal. Arsenal are dreadful, and they need to get rid of Wenger. Yeah, and even when you you looking at Arsenal and hoping for some kind of a reaction, for, for something, give us <laughs> give us something, anything. Title f top four is still within your reach. Everybody's kind of stumbling. Give us something, please. No, you want me be party poopers. Last game, as you mentioned, and uh, last North London derby at White Hart Lane. Just give us something. A again, no, and again, we're scratching our heads. Again, Did they not give you anything, Shaq? Uh, well, give us something. I'm, 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 I'm Are you trying. giving us something? I'm, I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> and then the only question, as far as Arsenal goes, the only takeaway is, what does Alexis Sanchez do? Why does he stay? What? There, again, there no, is no. nothing oh. we can mention about Arsenal that would make anybody feel any better. Uh, what about Spurs then, Gav Marcotti? Because some have suggested that they are in fact the best team in England. That's a ridiculous statement. We know that Chelsea are. They're going to win the league. Chelsea beat them in the semi-final of the F F FA Cup. How far are Spurs to becoming proper title contenders and competing properly in the Champions League next season? Well, I don't think that they're far away. I mean, I think uh, where they needed to grow, I think, is in terms of is in terms of mental toughness, being able to stay to the course and not collapse late in the season. Um, they haven't collapsed late in the season this year. Uh, they're actually still in the running for the title. Uh, they did, of course, uh, collapse in the Champions League, and then the next step in the evolution is for them to show that they can con that they can really compete on on multiple fronts. Um, but, you know, let's not forget that this is still a team that I think is growing together. Uh, this is still a team that certainly in the last summer, other than Wanyama, hasn't perhaps strengthened as much as they could have. So there's room for improvement there. I think when you look at Spurs, what's exciting is that um, I think that, that the ceiling uh, is still pretty high for this team.